Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and I have something in my hand here that's a pretty interesting pre-production unit that's about to go into production. And this, of course, is called the SGW Zone. It's an eGPU slash dock with some input, output, or I.O. on it that really gives you some options here. And it also has a discrete GPU. We'll talk about an AMD Radeon version and as well as an RTX version from NVIDIA. We'll get into all the details in a moment. But this pre-production unit has been great. I've been testing it out on the uh, Mindos laptops that I have here. And I gotta tell you, it gives a nice little boost in terms of graphics performance, in terms of your gaming, sort of your video editing and so forth. So I like what this offers, but not only is this an eGPU and a pretty compact form factor, but again, you have that IO here that sort of makes it even better. So it sort of pulls double duty. We're gonna get into why I think this little eGPU has big promise here in terms of potential. And I think you wanna pay attention to it. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the SGW Zone eGPU coming up. Now I've partnered with SGW to bring you this showcase of what I think is potentially one of the groundbreaking type of eGPU docks you're going to see. Right now it's on Indiegogo and they've upgraded it to a 2.0 version. Now again, I have a pre-production unit here so the fit and finish is not up to what retail is going to be, but it does give us a glimpse as to what we can expect, the potential there. I love the fact that you can exchange out different GPUs and now they're offering it with three different GPUs. Of course, we'll get into the numbers in a moment but the potential here is limitless as far as i'm concerned and the design is only going to get better okay folks we have the sgw zone eGPU here uh, it's not only an eGPU it's also a docking station as you can see here different ports here it'll be compatible with thunderbolt usb4 so not only is this going to be great for enhancing your graphics work and gaming it also will be very functional in the sense that it gives you more ports and being a docking station as well. So portable gaming rigs like the Lenovo Legion Go, the Asus ROG Ally, the Steam Deck, you can get this to be even more with this docking solution. So I like what this brings to the table. And as you can see, it is not very big. It's not very bulky, although it looks like pretty much a docking station. So you do get the functionality of having a GPU. Now this has the Radeon RX 6600M. This of course is not gonna be the most powerful GPU, but they will have one with the NVIDIA RTX 3070 coming, not out just yet. Again, this is a pre-production unit. So if you do see some imperfections in the casing and so forth, just keep that in mind. It is a very early pre-production unit. You do get the Thunderbolt cable here. Here you do get your power cord, the power supplies inside here, but overall a pretty nice package, expect it to be more refined again when it does come to shipping and when it does come to actually being available for purchase. We have the Radeon solution here and from my early testing and so forth, it's actually been pretty good. Now, as far as the ports on this side, you have two USB-A ports, two USB Thunderbolt ports, Thunderbolt 4 ports. So this, you're gonna plug into this so that's where you're gonna be able to connect your device, your laptop, say your portable handheld gaming system. You have your HDMI here, you get another USB type A, you get uh, another HDMI there, and then you get display port, a pretty nice port selection. This of course is where you're going to plug in. Now on the front of the unit, of course, is this LCD display. This, of course, will display temperature. It'll display weather. It could display the CPU usage. All kinds of customizations will be available. Again, early stages, I was able to play with it a little bit and so far looking pretty good. Now, one thing you will be able to do, not just yet, of course, is be able to switch out the graphics card. Right now, we're using the Radeon RX 6600M. And in addition to the AMD variant that we have here today, you also can choose the GeForce RTX 3070 and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 from NVIDIA. So I like the choices here. Now there's plenty of IO in the 2.0 version as you see here in this diagram. And of course I wanna show you that because that's what you can expect when you back this on the Indiegogo campaign. 
You also get the replaceable module design, so you get the OcuLink, which is gonna be great, and you also get a replaceable USB modules as well. Those are USB 4. You also have a really interesting compact design, so it's not gonna take up a lot of space on your desk or your table, so that is really good. I like that small footprint as well. Now, this is a little bit more portable than I expected. This can fit in a bag, actually. If you want to get some really good gaming on the road, uh, you could actually bring this with you. So that's pretty good. Let's see what the unit alone weighs. Uh, that is going to come in at 982 grams or 0.982 kilograms. And that, of course, would be 2 pounds, 2.6 ounces. So not the heaviest thing out there. And, of course, uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space considering what you have inside here, of course. Now, total travel weight for those wondering with the cable and everything so we put on the unit itself and then we can put the cable here and then the thunderbolt cable so all told you're looking at a little bit over a kilogram it's 1.085 kilograms or two pounds 6.2 ounces not too bad now to test this out, I connected it up to the Dell XPS 13 Plus. We know that has the Core i7 1360p with integrated Iris 60 graphics, which quite frankly are not very good when it comes to graphics. So this really paid off in terms of giving us a nice little boost here. And I would expect even better boost if you go with the Nvidia offerings that are going to be available for this. And we're seeing immediate dividends when it comes to the Time Spy score going from 2010 to 6901. That's a nice little improvement there. And the same could be said of the Fire Strike score going from 5406 to 14,237. That's pretty significant. So that means you'll have improved gaming, improved video editing, and all sorts of graphics tasks will be a lot better when connected to this eGPU dock. Now, I was able to run the Cinebench 2024 graphics performance on this, getting a score of 3814. Now, of course, I cannot run the Iris Xe graphics on this particular test, so just keep that in mind. And you're seeing an immediate payoff when it comes to gaming with the Intel Iris Xe. You can sort of get playable frame rates if you lower some of the settings. Much better playable frame rates when we connected it to the eGPU, which has the AMD Radeon RX 6600M. And even Cyberpunk 2077, we're seeing a significant increase in playable frame rates. That is a really good payoff here. And seeing these results gets me excited because version 2.0 should be even better with more offerings in terms of GPUs, the OcuLink, and all the interchangeability that it's going to bring to the table. This just whets the appetite, and I can't wait to see what they have to offer in version 2.0. I want to thank SGW for sending over this pre-production prototype, and it's been a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get my hands on a shipping unit. And I also want to thank SGW for sponsoring today's video. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and that platform formerly known as Twitter. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.